evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2018 Reorganization Meeting of the Municipal Council of the Township of Denda. In accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, Sunshine Law, Public Law 1975, Chapter 231, approved October 21st, 1975, adequate notice for this meeting has been provided as follows. Notice of this meeting was sent to the citizens of Morris County through other local newspapers, two radio stations, and the notice was posted on the bulletin board outside the clerk's office, as well as on the township's website. Please note this is a non-smoking facility, and at this time, please silence all electronic equipment. Thank you. Would everybody please stand as Boy Scout Troop 17 advances the colors, and please remain standing for the salute to the flag. Gracious God, we thank you for this day as a new year dawns, filled with many challenges and almost unlimited possibilities. We thank you for families, friends, and even strangers who come and go, bringing their unique gifts and abilities to strengthen and build up our community. This evening, we thank you for the ability to use our minds and exercise our imagination in order to discern what is best to create and sustain a strong and healthy Denville. We thank you for all those who have felt called to serve others, for those who govern and those who elect, for those who plan creatively and those who make those plans happen strategically, for those who heal and those who counsel, for those who teach and those who protect, for all who live into the best example of what it means to be a citizen. We thank you for this community we pray this night for everyone in the community who is hungry, unemployed, or uninsured. We pray for all people in our community who are mentally or physically ill. We pray for everyone anywhere who lives in violence. For these and all the burdens of our larger community, Lord, hear our prayers. As our elected officials take their oaths of office, we pray that you give them each clarity of mind creativity which initiates and innovates, compassion for the emerging needs that will arise, strength needed for due diligence in carrying out the responsibility of their offices, integrity in so doing, and the sense of service that leads to humility. Give them listening ears and thoughtful words. Give them presence of mind and open hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you. In the audience tonight, we'd like to acknowledge the following. Senator Anthony Bucco. Jason Lamarca from Assemblyman Carroll's office. Freeholder elect Heather Darling is here. Mayor of 
G file. Is in the audience? <laughs> Former council um, and Bob Unrath. Former Councilman Chris Kalinske. Councilman Don Kuzer. Freeholder Deborah Smith. And Honorable Judge Smith is in the audience also. I think I missed anybody, Mayor? I'm a fire chief. Oh, our new fire chief, Rich Jones, is here tonight. Also. The declaration and termination of county canvassers relative to the election uh, municipal council ward representatives. A statement of determination of the board of canvassers relative to an election held in the township of Denville County of Morris, the state of New Jersey, for the election of certain municipal officers for the municipality on the seventh day of November, 2017. The said board does determine that at the said election, Douglas N. Gable, Brian Bergen, Glenn R. Bowie, Gary Borwick were duly elected to the Office of Municipal Council for the term 2018 through 2021. At this time, I would like to ask that the family of Councilman elect Gable come forward for the oath of allegiance. I, Douglas N. Gable, <coughs> solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith, and I will bear true faith and allegiance, allegiance to the same, to the same. And to the governments established, to the governments established in, the United States, in the United States, and in this state, and in this state, under the authority of the people, the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear. I do further solemnly swear that I will impartially, I will impartially and justly <coughs> perform, and justly perform all the duties of, all the duties of the office of, the office of council, one, according to the best of my ability. Glenn R. Bowie. I, Glenn R. Bowie. Do 
solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support. That I will support the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States. Of the United States and the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. Of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. True faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. And to the governments. To the government established in the United States. Established in the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority. Under the authority. Of the Swear that I will impartially, that I will impartially and, justly perform and justly perform all the duties of all the duties of the office of the office of Councilman Ward Three. Councilman Ward Three. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome. the 2018 Municipal Council members of the Township of Denver. Councilman Bergen. Here. Councilman Barwick. Present. Councilman Bowie. Here. Councilman Gable. Here. Councilwoman Leiden. Here. Councilman Murphy. Here. Councilwoman Woody. Here. Also with us tonight are Mayor Andes, Administrator Ward, and Attorney John Jansen. At this time, I would like to call for nominations for the 2018 Council President. I would like to nominate Doug Gable for Council President. Second. Any other nominations? Seeing none, I close the nominations. Roll call for Doug Gable as Council President. Mrs. Lyon? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. Mr. Bowie? Yes. Ms. Reed? Yes. Mr. Bergen? Yes. Mr. Barwick? Yes. And Mr. Gable? Yes. Do solemnly swear that I will support, I will support the Constitution 
Constitution of the United States, United States. and the Constitution, the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, State of New Jersey. and that I will bear true faith and allegiance, faith and allegiance to the same, and to the governments, to the governments established, established in the United States, in the United States and in this, state, in this state, under the authority, under the authority of, the people, of the people. So help me God. I do further solemnly swear, further solemnly swear that I will impartially and justly perform Partially, partially and just justly perform all, all the duties of the office of, the office of council, president, council president according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So I'll be gone. Congratulations. moments thank Councilwoman Leiden um, and the rest of the council for your confidence in me um, I also want to thank the residents of Denville especially those in Ward 1 uh, who have placed me in this position when I joined the council in 2012 I told the members then that I would serve while keeping my priorities in mind those of faith family and community service over the past six years, I've tried very hard to do just that. I thank God for the wisdom and patience in all of my decision making. I want to thank my wife, Chris, the rock of our family, and for my children, Marissa and Jason, who support me and let me do what I enjoy. And it is my hope that they have seen in me the value of community service. For without their support and help, I would be unable to serve. I'd like to thank Mayor Andes for your friendship, support, and counsel over the past six years. Additionally, Administrator Ward, thank you for your patience, listening, and responsiveness. It is very much appreciated, both of you. I'd like to thank all the volunteers of this town, for it is you that make it great. It was recently noted that we are the ninth best town in New Jersey, according to NewJersey.com. And most recently, we received a recognition that we were the most hippie town in New Jersey. Um, not quite sure whether that was hip or hippie, but in any event, um, because of the contributions of so many. Uh, the residents of Denville make our township a caring, active, clean, and forward-thinking community. I'd like to thank all the various public officials for your attendance here this evening. Thank you very much for your attendance. <clears throat> I want to thank Pastor Ed Carl uh, for sharing your location with us this evening and for serving this township as its fire department's chaplain. Um, we wish you well as you look to retire this summer. Uh, and as you alluded to in your invocation, uh, we do continually pray for the wisdom in all of our deliberations and decision making. Thank you. And I'd also like to thank the Boy Scouts from Troop 17 uh, for their participation this evening in presenting the colors. Finally, I'd like to thank Christopher Galinsky, Don Kuzer, and Gene Fitzpatrick for all of their contributions and service to this township and this council. They have been great role models for me, and I have appreciated that very much. And to former Mayor Gene File, I want to thank you for giving me my first opportunity to provide, my first appointment to provide assistance as a volunteer on the local assistance board many years ago. And to the new incoming council members, congratulations on your recent election. And to my fellow council members, I look forward to serving with all of you as we address the important needs of our township together. Each one of us brings something special to this council. Councilman Leighton, as you are the most senior member of the council, and I mean that with a lowercase s and not an uppercase s, 
Uh, we will all benefit from your experience, knowledge, and decisiveness. Thank you. Councilman Murphy, your leadership brought from the broad Board of Adjustment, uh, and with your deep desire uh, of the downtown, to see our downtown prosper and become a destination location, we look for your help in guiding us to that end. And Councilman Whitty, you continue to engage with our seniors, our Denville Pride, and in the schools, and we continue to look to have reports frequently from you about the activities of our town. To newly elected Councilman Brian Bergen, who wouldn't want a West Point graduate and Apache helicopter on their team? Uh, looking forward, uh, I see that you will continue, hopefully, your continued community involvement and provide leadership to this council. To newly elected Councilman Bowie, your experience on the planning board and knowledge of the community and leadership will be very valuable. And to newly elected Councilman Borwick, uh, your insight into financial matters and your love of organized sports will be invaluable to this council. Thank you. I look forward to working with this council, uh, debating the tough issues, finding solutions, and putting ordinances and plans into place that will support the wishes of the residents of Denville. We look forward to residents allowing their voices to be heard as well. All residents are welcome to attend any council meeting to address the council, and we hope to do so in a way and continue to act that is transparent, and as we address the numerous channels of communication, hope to reach all of our residents. As was stated in the oath of office that I just took twice, I said that I would do my best as I serve as council president. It is no coincidence that the Boy Scout oath contains the same, do your best. And I have lived that for practically my entire life. And I look forward to doing the same in this role. We live in a wonderful township. Uh, when I think of Denville, and when I visit other towns, I enjoy bragging about our quaint and prosperous downtown, our great school system, our devoted community volunteers that do so much in our township. I want to say hats off to our fire department, our EMTs, our OEM, our police, for they are the ones that keep us safe and keep the peace every day. And also to our DPW and Township employees, I want to say thank you. As I mentioned before, we do have a number of challenges ahead of us. Addressing our affordable housing obligation, flood mitigation, our evolving downtown, and bringing fiscal responsible budgets to bear. These are just but a few that I mentioned, and we look forward to the challenge and confident that this capable council will be able to deliver appropriate resolutions to these challenges. We also welcome this year our Denville School Board and Town Hall into this building, and we look to continue to enhance our relationship with the school board and school system as we address mutually related issues in the future. As you all know, our children are our future. So with that I say, let's get to work. Uh, before I ask uh, the, Rumi, the new council people to make some remarks, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Assemblyman Bucco in the back of the room. Thank you very much for being here this evening. At this time, I'll ask uh, Mr. Councilman Brian Bergen to uh, say a few words. Thank you, Council President. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for electing me to be a councilman. I'm pretty excited about this. I want to start by thanking my wife, Kristen, and my two kids, Justin and Samantha. Uh, about 20 minutes before we were here, Justin was stomping up and down saying how he was not coming tonight. So I'm actually pretty impressed with his performance so far. <laughs> I want to thank my, my mom and Andrew for attending, and my Aunt Colleen over there in the corner for attending. I also want to echo the remarks about the elected officials. Uh, for those who don't know, they've probably been to about 17 of these in the past three days, so I really appreciate you guys making it, and for making it to all of them. It's really important work. Uh, when I was, uh, you mentioned me being in the Army and being a West Point grad. When I was in the Army and I was a commander, um, whenever I would promote a, uh, a junior enlisted soldier to the rank of E5, which is when they become a non-commissioned officer, a pretty big deal. I, I used to have this speech that I would say, and I would say to him, nobody cares um, that you just became an E5. The second I put this pin on you, you are the rank, and you owe it to everybody to be the rank from the first day. There's no grace period, there's no learning curve, 
There's no time for any excuses. And quite frankly, I feel the same way about being on the council. I intend to put four full years uh, worth of work into this. And some of my constituents actually thought I started on November 8th. And my, uh, the bus stop's been quite the uh, hazardous place for me to go. Um, but I really plan on putting a lot of work into this. I really, really appreciate the opportunity. I'm excited to be part of such a great team. Thank you very much. Thank you, words. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family, friends, and the citizens of Denville for your support and your vote of confidence in electing me to this office. A special thanks goes to my wife for her support and her encouragement. I'm ambitious and I'm committed to Denville's future and looking forward to this exciting opportunity to work with our council members as well as our mayor and administration in serving the citizens of Denville. I would also like to thank outgoing Councilman Chris Kalinske, Gene Fitzpatrick, and Don Kuzer for all their hard work and contributions in making Denville what it is today. In addition, I would like to particularly thank those in Ward 3 who supported me through the election process, and especially those who voted for me, as without your vote, I wouldn't be here before you tonight. My wife strongly suggested I keep it short and sweet Therefore, I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, prosperous 2018, and let's keep Denville the best place to raise a family, live, and retire. Thank you. Councilman Board. Thank you, Council President. Um, first of all, I just want to add a few thank yous as well. I hope my voice holds up. There's a terrible cold going through uh, through my house right now, and um, as I as I begin there, first of all, I need to say thank you to my uh, my wife Karen for uh, she's here pretty sick tonight, but uh, thank you for all your uh, support through everything that we do and through this election, and um, it's quite remarkable that I'm sitting up here. I still remember coming to these council meetings ten years ago to uh, to to uh, try to encourage the existing council and Mayor Andes when he sat up here uh, as I lobbied for football fields and sports organizations and uh, the Recreation Council uh, when I was part of that. And um, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be on this side at this time and to sit in this seat. And um, thank you for, for everyone that's here. Um, along the way, I want to um, obviously also thank all the voters of Ward 4 um, the amount of support, uh, the amount of votes, and uh, the support as I was going through the process was just absolutely incredible. Um, not only the volunteers that I had on a committee um, that just kept coming forward, and it wasn't even just people in Ward 4, it was just very, very much appreciated. Um, again, truly an honor and a privilege um, to the, uh, the outgoing council people, uh, Chris and Jean, and, uh, my good friend Don Kuzer, who was my friend years and years ago uh, as we coached together on the, the sports fields and got to be my friend then, and the support that he's given me over the last year um, to fill this position. And, the, you know, I don't think the, uh, the statement that I had big shoes to fill was ever more appropriate between myself and Don in, in many ways. But he's a, he's a heck of a guy, heck of a friend. And I look forward to uh, continuing my friendship with Don. And thank you very much for, for everything there. And that also goes for the existing council members uh, that are here. It's been a pleasure to get to know them the last year, uh, the last year or so um, and, and what they stand for and the kind of people that they are and the support that they've given me. Um, when I first spoke with Tom Andes uh, uh, a year ago, I knew that he was a good mayor and I knew he was doing a great job for Denville. When, as I got to know him better and better, uh, what a friend he's become, especially as I've uh, had a, a couple of surgeries last year for intestinal cancer, and um, he really was a special person. He was always there for me, in, uh, and not in the political way, um, just the kind of person that he is and, and comes forward. And thank you, Tom, for, for, for being there. Um, thank you. As, as I echo 
um, the other new council people. I'm just an honor and a privilege to be here. I can't wait to serve the town that I love and that I've lived in for 23 years, and I'm really going to try to do my very best. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. At this time, I'd like to open up the public portion of the meeting, and this is the opportunity for the public to uh, address the council if anything uh, that they would like to share. Would anyone like to address the council? Seeing none, I'll close the public portion. Your Honor, would you like to give us at this time the state of the municipality address? Thank you very much, Council President. I hope everyone had a happy holiday season, and I wish you all a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Uh, thank you, Reverend and Carl, for joining us today and providing an invocation, and the Boy Scout Troop 17 for supplying the color guard for tonight's ceremony. Oh, that trumpeter was, your book was terrific, wasn't he? Um, <laughs> Thank you to Stephen Ward, Kathy Bowditch, and Daniel Lewis for making sure that everything is just right for tonight's ceremony. And please join us afterwards for some light refreshments. <clears throat> I'd like to offer my congratulations to returning councilman and newly elected council president, Doug Gable, uh, along with our newly elected councilman, Brian Bergen, Glenn Bowie, and Gary Barwick. I'm confident that you all serve the people of Denville well. And a very sincere thank you to our recently retired councilmen, Chris Kowinski, Jean Fitzpatrick, and Don Cruiser, for their eight years of dedicated service to our community. And thank you for staying involved as volunteers. The cardinal points of this administration has always been proactive flood mitigation, downtown economic development, upgrading our infrastructure, improving our efficiencies, all while running the township in the most cost-effective manner possible is that the lesson Hurricane Irene taught us is one inch of water to make the difference in whether a home is lost. I'd like to thank the Rivers and Stream Committee for their stewardship of our rivers and the hundreds of volunteers who come out annually for the cleanups. I'd also like to thank the people from Uliston Road neighborhood who have made a real effort in cleaning up the wetlands in their neighborhood. All your efforts make a difference. In 2016, we commenced our downtown streetscape project. A federal grant of $821,000 allowed us to construct new curbs and a brick utility corridor and install decorative lamps along Broadway. The poles were replaced in October of 2017. And once completed, Bob Ott and John Charty returned the music to Broadway with the state-of-the-art sound system. Our Pass and Trails Committees has made a significant headway creating a pass system throughout the In 2017, the Town Council allocated the funding to hire a consulting firm to create a master trail plan. The PAL Project Playground 2.0 Committee is planning to replace the 20-year-old playground at Garden Field. Under the leadership of Don Cass and PL Director Jeff Tucker, they've done a wonderful job organizing community fundraising events over the last year and a half. As of January 1st, they've raised $155,000 of their $250,000 goal. Construction will take place the weekend of September 22nd and 23rd, and it will be the place to be in Denver that weekend. The construction of the playground equipment will be done in an Amish barn raising style by volunteers. I encourage everyone of every skill level to be involved. It will be a very enjoyable and memorable in November of 2017, the township received notification that it has become one of only 47 silver certified communities through the Sustainable New Jersey program. This is an upgrade from our bronze certification we have previously held. This achievement was obtained through the tireless efforts of our green team led by Don Tidy and makes Denville eligible for grants offered through the state of New Jersey. In 2018, the township will continue to recognize our dental veterans and active military personnel, either at town council meetings or in private settings. Furthermore, we look forward to the spring dedication of the courtyard in front of the town council chambers as the Jack O'Keefe Plaza, who is former mayor, freeholder, and World War II veteran. This administration has continued to present fiscally responsible budgets which the Township Council has adopted after making thoughtful modifications. These budgets have ensured future long-term stability for the Township, 
while still enabling us to maintain the current high level of municipal services you have come to expect. In 2011, during Hurricane Irene, our Valley View Firehouse was severely damaged to the point the facility was rendered unsafe and unusable. The Town Council allocated the necessary $1.1 million in funds to fill in the crew room in the basement and rebuild a new crew room with a new larger front garage doors for future growth of equipment. Our OEM director, Wesley Sharples, has submitted the reimbursement paperwork for the Valley View Firehouse to FEMA. We were notified just last month that we would be receiving $369,000 towards the replacement of the Valley View Firehouse. Denver is one of the most fiscally sound municipalities in Morris County, perhaps the entire state. We have the third lowest debt ratio in the county, and we've done this by following conservative financial management practices. This administration has presented and will continue to present sound budgets to the council, which ensure future long-term stability to the township while still enabling us to maintain the current high level of municipal services you have come to expect as well as providing for the many projects to be effectively, effectively implemented and completed. At the conclusion of my address, I will ask the council to give advice and consent for the mayoral and administrative appointments. The team we have assembled is up to the task of completing these projects while keeping our tax rate low and remaining financially prudent. Our administrator, Stephen Ward, has continued to show the ability to find savings, increase efficiencies, attract the people of Denville. Mike Marino, our CFO, has time and time again demonstrated strong knowledge of conservative approach to municipal financial management. Our township engineer, John Risky, has proven his ability to be creative, be frugal, and get the project completed. Our planner, Jason Kessler, has demonstrated the ability to comprehend the complex issues of COA. And although this is not my appointment, I wholeheartedly support your resolution to reappoint Kathy Barrage Leon as our township clerk. In just a few short years, Kathy has proven to be a dedicated professional and has taken great strides to advance the technology in our clerk's office. I am pleased to reappoint our municipal attorney, John Jansen, who will head up our legal team for Paul the Bowen of Poa for similar tax appeals and litigation at Jacoby Labor Council. Our municipal judge, Jerry Smith, municipal prosecutor, Jim LaSalle, public defender, Cliff Manager. And I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to our many volunteers for their hard work and dedication to our community. It is your commitment that enables us to provide the services that we may not otherwise be able to afford to our constituents. We are fortunate to have great people working together to continue to make Denver the finest place to live, work, raise a family, and retire. Thank you all, and may God continue to send his blessings to the people of Denver, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, for that municipality address. Um, we also want to thank you for your tireless leadership over the past few years and your vision for our future. Um, I picked up a few things that I would just like to comment on in your speech uh, and in sharing with us. Um, we have been busy uh, by virtue of you sharing the, the numerous things. Um, uh, we have been very busy and all for the betterment of our town that, uh, that we also love. Uh, we have been able to take advantage of grants, as you mentioned, and federal dollars uh, for the betterment uh, of our town. And uh, we do have much to be proud of, uh, but there is still much left to be done. So uh, thank you. Uh, at this time, we will administer the Oath of Allegiance for our municipal clerk, attorney, prosecutor, public defender, township engineer, and planner. Mayor, would you do so? And you can just have that memory. Yes, you can. Hey, hey I'm not going to read it. You're, you're a special clerk. You can? No. Tom, that's all I got. Donna could. That's the 30 years. Okay, we'll get you. Okay, okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. Now I have it broken down different than you, so I'm going to screw you up. All right. I. I. Catherine Barrett. 
Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear fruit. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same and the government established. <laughs> to the same and to the government established. In the United States and in this state. In the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. Under the authority of the people, so help me God. And I do further solemnly swear that. And I do further solemnly swear that. I will impartially and justly perform. I will impartially and justly perform. All the duties of the office of. All the duties of the office of municipal clerk. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability, so help me God. She did it. <laughs> Please join us for some refreshments over in the community room. Uh, 
Thank you very much.